So today we're going to talk about templates a little bit. This is a project that I'm working on to uh, where I'm teaching a course. And so I've got just a very simple box, cosmetic box. I've cut it open and I got rid of the extra little flaps that were like the folding flaps. So I just laid it out flat. I took that and I traced it out onto a piece of canvas. Just a black Sharpie over a piece of canvas and made myself a template. All these little dotted lines are not to be cut. None of this is to be cut. These little dotted lines are where there's actually going to be folds. And you can see that on here, there's a fold right there. That's this line right here. Okay, so I'm going to flip it over and show you the next step. I have the outline. And then I went back in and I just put very lightly the pencil lines for where the folds would be all the places where the folds would be. And then I made a drawing inside of it. So just a very simple line drawing. I actually tried to keep everything in a closed area, it's sort of my style of work anyway, so sort of stained glassy looking, because I'm thinking about filling these in, what they're gonna look like when they get filled in with color. I'm gonna take this, now I've drew it out in pencil and then I went over it with puppy paint. I let it dry for 24 hours at least until the puppy paint gets nice and hard. And then I'm going to roll a slab with this and show you how to fold a box. You'll be able to get the same box, the same print every time. You can make a new blank template with your paper over and over so you can make multiple templates with multiple drawings and it really you can put any design on it you want anything that you can draw out simple designs that you can outline in the puppy paint and we're going to make a soft slab folded box out of it so i rolled out a slab a little bigger than i might need it doesn't ever hurt to have extra and it's i would say about a quarter of an inch thick, maybe a little thinner. I'm going to take that template that I've made, the outline from the box shape with my drawing and puppy paint in it, and I'm going to lay it down in the middle of that slab, and I'm going to roll over it. I'm going to go both ways. make sure I get a good print and then slowly peel it up I'm not only going to have the print of my drawing I'm going to have the print of all of the outline of the box template and I'm going to cut that out all the way around so my template is cut out I'm going to remove all this extra clay so I have just the template the template on canvas the template printed on clay And then we're going to get ready to fold. Okay, so I have my print. I made my print into the clay. I'm going to, and I've just lightly marked 
where I had the pencil lines for where the folds are going to be. And I did that by using my backside. I flipped it over. I laid that down on there and I just went with my pin tool and pushed down through the canvas. So I have a little bit of an imprint where those marks are for the folding. I'm going to make them a little bit deeper. I'm going to cut. I'm not going to go all the way through. I'm just barely going to cut, really. I'm going to go maybe an eighth of an inch deep. You're going to blend it some. Okay, and then I think I'm going to use just a nail file, something right there by the line for the bend and I'm gonna pull that piece up so I've got my first fold I'm gonna go maybe to the sides next I'm gonna put that there for support I'm gonna bend up against it I'm going to put that there for support. I'm going to bend up against it. So it's something the same as I'm always saying. I'm just using this file instead of my other hand and getting more of a straight line. But I'm always touching from both sides. I'm always supporting it. So now we're going to have to just do a little bit of a rollover without the file. I want those to actually come on the inside. So you can see my side side flaps are not going under. They're coming up against the edge. And then I can go back with that. Push down a little bit just to start that final fold. Come up and connect. And yes, you should be scoring. Everywhere that's going to have a connection. You could actually score all of your outside lines everywhere you know that's going to connect before you start folding. A little bit of water, a little bit of slurry, and then just fold it back up. So I see my line there is not squared up. A little bit of a paddle. You can see the dragonfly print. And this, of course, I'm going to go back and I'm going to clean up with my knife. I'm going to let it stiffen up a little bit. But you see the print. It's going to be the same size every time. Okay, and I have one that I worked on a little bit more that made the carving a little deeper and decided to turn this into uh, a salt and pepper set. Salt and pepper shaker set. So I've got a little hole there to put my cork in. And how much the shrinkage look at the shrinkage now this one i bent i wanted a little more movement the shrinkage is amazing these are one day apart so 
totally bone dry on the right and what we just printed and put together. So this technique can be used for any size box. You watch from the beginning, you know how to make the template now. And we're going to work with this a little bit in hand building too. Have a great day.